Deuteronomy 18.22 Asher yedaber hanavi b'shem Adonai, velo yehye hadavar velo yavo. Hu hadavar asher lo dibero Adonai, bezadon dibero hanavi lo tagur mimenu. Now, for verse 22 here, we begin with an asher clause, and we're going to have to back up to verse 21 to kind of put this together. Let me pull 21 back up here. So if we begin here after the ethnach, how will we know the matter, or how will we know the word? And then this word is first modified by this asher, and then secondly, so, you know, the, the word which the Lord did not speak it, and then it secondly is modified by this asher, which... The prophet speaks in the name of the Lord. So still talking about how are we going to know what that word is. And uh, the verb that we have here is a PL imperfect, third masculine singular of the root dalit bait resh. Next we get the answer beginning with this vav. Now this takes a bit of a conditional idea or a conditional nuance, but the vav is not usually understood as conditional. But if we can kind of think of it that way here, we might get an implied if. If the matter here, serving as the subject both forward and backward, we'll see that in a minute, if the word does not come about or does not happen, here's a call imperfect third masculine singular of haya, and, and it does not come to be, here's the call imperfect third masculine singular of the root Bo. So if it does not happen and it does not come about, this word, it, it, third masculine singular, it, or we might be more specific and say that, that thing is, in a verbless clause, is the word. That thing that doesn't come to happen and doesn't come about, that is the word which the Lord as the subject did not speak. PL perfect third masculine singular with a third masculine singular pronominal suffix. That is the word which the Lord did not speak. Next, we get the manner in which the prophet spoke that word with presumption. The prophet, as the subject, spoke it. There's third masculine singular again. So with presumption, the prophet spoke it, that word. And then we get the conclusion here. You shall not be afraid from him. Third masculine singular suffix. You shall not be afraid of him. Now, the verbal root here is uh, gimel vav resh. Halot lists this as a third root, meaning to be afraid. In the parsing here is a call imperfect to ms. You shall not be afraid of him.